I'd like to tell you about my nearly lifelong passionate love affair and obsession with canoeing rivers. And I'm talking canoeing, not kayaking and rafting. You gotta get that straight, canoeing. But in the process of this uh, obsession, I've managed to paddle over 300 rivers in Wisconsin, over 500 rivers totally, over 60 rivers in North Carolina. So this has been quite a passion. And now I have a new quest. Um, within the next couple of years, I'm gonna have, I will have floated rivers in all 50 states. I've got eight to go, uh, Hawaii and seven rivers in the Northeast, and I've got plans to do them all pretty soon. So that'll be fun to, to finish that quest. Well, where did this passion begin? Well, I grew up in a small town in Iowa and there was a river nearby called the Cedar River, which was actually a fairly lovely river. There are limestone bluffs and wooded uh, stream side and uh, a great place to hang out as a kid. So uh, in a moment of unusual candor in the 80s, I think it was, my parents and I were driving through a park along the river and my, 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 my dad said, surely I think Rick was conceived over there. And she said, you know, Art, I think you're right. So how many people know that? And that may be where my ashes end up. But that's the Cedar River near my hometown. Um, later, I went to college in Minnesota, med school in Wisconsin and residency in Wisconsin. and. Managed to paddle a few times through those years, although as you can imagine, it was not easy getting away from all those duties. But uh, I finished residency and started practicing in Madison, Wisconsin in 1978. And I discovered the Sierra Club had a river touring section in Wisconsin that did a lot of whitewater. So I learned whitewater through that river touring section. Later I taught it. I paddled a lot of rivers with Sierra Clubbers on Wisconsin rivers and discovered a lot of beautiful whitewater and beautiful rivers uh, during the time I did that for many years. I discovered fairly early on that I really like to explore small little rivers by myself. Obscure rivers, rivers that nobody else had done. I loved the adventure of, of planning and doing that. So I did that and soon I discovered I paddled nearly 100 rivers, then it became 200, then 300 rivers in Wisconsin, all 72 counties. And along the way, I, I started to study the rivers, uh, study the geology, the history, and so forth, and, and um, started to write about it. I took notes and started to write about the rivers. So during that time, um, I became kind of an expert on Wisconsin rivers and became somewhat in, in demand. I, I gave slideshows around the state. I, was an advocate for the environment, trying to protect Wisconsin rivers. Uh, I was on Wisconsin public television. Um, I was writing my book, and but by 2007, I paddled my 300th river, and that was Two Rivers, Wisconsin, and there was a big deal there. The community came out, many people paddled with me. The mayor and city council president presented me with a plaque. It was a, a pretty big deal. Well, another passion of mine, or another obsession of mine, has been my passion for Appalachian whitewater. Uh, over a span of almost 30 years, a bunch of us from Wisconsin and Minnesota would come down every March and paddle Appalachian whitewater streams. Eventually we paddled over, over 50 between Pennsylvania and Alabama, and this took me to the Asheville area, which is part of my original interest in the area and part of why I ended up here 12 years ago. Anyway, I've now paddled over 60 North Carolina streams, not just whitewater, but also some slower moving streams in the Piedmont and even one River called the Blackwater River in the coastal area, which uh, where I was able to see uh, cypress trees that were over 2,500 years old. Lastly, let me try to explain why I love it so much, why it has become such a passion. And the first one I would think of is the beauty of rivers. It's the the sparkling water, the often beautiful places through canyons and bedrock cliffs, the juxtaposition of water and sky, the um, the beautiful trees, um, and often in the wildlife I've seen, which has been quite spectacular along the way. Second thing I'll mention is the challenge. I enjoy the challenge. It's not just the challenge of white water and getting down the river, but the challenge of planning and logistics, of what part of the river to do, what, where to put in, where to take out, um, how much of the river to do, all that challenge I've enjoyed too. Um, Third one is just the learning. I learned so much in paddling rivers. So 
Some of it, uh, the, the geology, the flora and the fauna, the history, and also learning about the value of rivers and wanting to protect rivers and maintain rivers, the, the environmental aspect of rivers, the importance of rivers uh, I've learned and have enjoyed learning. Uh, next one is exercise. It's obviously upper body exercise, but also lower body exercise, because very often I was by myself and needed to get back up to where the trip had started. So it often involved running back to my car, or jogging or biking, or even cross country skiing through the years. And, being an exercise nut, I appreciated being able to get good exercise doing it also. The last one I would mention is a little more abstract. It's kind of a pride of mastery. Uh, just realizing I've, I became good enough to really trust myself on rapids and knew how to read the rapids, how to read the river, where to go, how to get there, the strokes that were needed to, to um, accomplish that goal. So that's the last thing I can think of as far as where the love is. But uh, that's, um, I guess that's it. Thanks.